What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another trip. I figured we can take a break from the from the car reviews and do a travel vlog. So we're heading back to Arizona and we made a trip before, but the last time we went, we went with Bevy, which was Shelly Civic. This time we're going to Arizona and Ruby, and yes, we finally have a name for the RDX. Her name is Ruby and it took Shelly forever to get a name. <laughs> Look how close these guys are. You get one of those? Um, I don't know. There's some moments where I think that I would be brave enough to, but I am extremely and deathly afraid of heights. Um, I don't like heights either, and I don't know why. I mean, if I don't need to be in the air, why put myself in the air? Yeah. You know, but I guess it's something you should experience in life. I guess, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. So before we start this road trip, of course, we got to start it here because it's Shelly's favorite place. That's our tradition. We have six hours to go. We're staying at a new place, so we're not going to be at the same place we were at before, but we are going back to Arizona to the Mayo Clinic. I don't think I ever explained that. So you guys know the reason why we went last time. Well, we're going back to the same Mayo Clinic again. It's more of a checkup, right? Type of thing. Last time it was definitely like more testing i feel like i'm doing testing this time too though yeah so i'm gonna see a rheumatologist i'm going to see an ent specialist i'm going to do blood work and then i'm also gonna have a it's like an esophageal imaging test so, so it's a bunch of so stuff so she's doing again. some stuff again um <laughs> but this time we're going in ruby even though the civic was a trooper y'all saw what we went through when we drove in the civic and if you didn't see that vlog i'm gonna put a link above now so you guys could know what we're so doing. far though i love the widescreen and a lot of people hate the this whole command center right here, but I feel like everything is perfect. You have a little armrest right here for your wrist to shift, a wireless phone charger, all that good stuff. I made a review of this car, so click that link above to check that out. But <laughs> Michelle's making the Shelly's making the uh, sound effect. Hi, good morning. Order when you're ready. Good morning. I have a mobile order for Michelle. Mobile for Joe. Can I get you anything else? For uh, Michelle. Oh, I totally fixed her, too. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Okay, we'll get you that mobile order from Michelle. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Except for Joe. I was like, who the hell is Joe? Insert <laughs> Joe from you. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, the line for Starbucks is usually goes around the world, but it is what it is. Brake hold, it's, uh, if your car got that, it comes in handy. Literally, we're in drive right now. I use it all the time. You turn on brake hold, and it holds your brake. See, my foot don't got to be on the gas, and we're not going to move. If I give it gas, it'll let me go. If I stop, it'll hold my brake every time. One thing that I missed in a CRV, and I missed it when we went to the Civic, is memory seats. Like now, me and Shelly can have our seat set if we don't have to readjust nothing. When I unlock the car with my key, the seat goes to how I last had it. When she locked it with her key, the seat goes to how she last had it, so. Look how cute. So, I mean, I'm not gonna, let's see. Maybe I can do it. <laughs> no, that way you guys don't see like the registration stuff. But anyway, um, you can keep your registration and insurance in here and it's just really cute and it snaps it has like a magnet but i love this car because everything is like super roomy and just i don't know everything just seems so organized like there's even a little area to put it so yeah like a little shelf in there and that's bigger too than civic it's way bigger because with the civic like i would have all the stuff and it would take me a while to like close it now it just it's and as a salesperson i i see people's um glove box all the time and oh my god it looked like <laughs> it looked like it got hit with a bomb or something in there. Really? Like some people got yeah, some people. I, I just see a lot of cars in general, especially when someone's trading a car, and some cars are just destroyed. Things are everywhere. It's crazy. Okay. Some cars are pretty neat and clean too, but some cars are just you just wonder like how did they survive in this car? Why is there three trucks in all the lanes? Look at this. It's giving Titan. It's giving Titan. Look, I, yo, I hate hate driving their trucks. I hate. Just be near them because they just give me final des destination vibes. It's like, just like a cluster. It's giving mob and it's giving attack on Titan. Like I literally just I zoom past them because I can't sit behind them. I can't sit on the side of them. Like it's not happening. But all three of them took all three lanes. And I'm just like you just can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Nope, nope, nope. That, that is, that is 
a big no. Look at this. Oh, heck nah. No, thank no. you. We're good off that. Yep. Thank you very much. My God. My God. Can't take my eye off you. Can't take my eye off you. We made our first stop to stop to get some gas. We are in uh, Grants. Beautiful out here. Grants is like small little. I don't even know what you even call this. But yeah, stop to get some gas. This thing is so comfortable. When we get to Arizona, I want to talk more about the driving, but so far, so comfortable. So we made a quick stop. And we're at the Welcome to Arizona. I mean, I don't know if you guys have watched the last vlog that we did when we did this trip. We stopped at the same restroom in this but got some bad news that just happened to us. Alright, so just now we're driving before we stop. Look what we got. Bruh. That was one of the loudest um rock slapping the windshield I've ever heard driving a car. Like I seen the the and it was like a boulder. I seen the boulder coming. I'm like, dang, we can't avoid it. It slapped the windshield so hard and made that crack. So when we get to Arizona, we're going to get into town and see if we can get that filled in. Hopefully that can be fixed. If not, then we just gotta figure out the whole windshield situation. But damn, damn. Alright, we stop at this gas station to use the bathroom real fast. And when I say this <laughs> this place is the most like I don't even know how to describe it. One guy was telling a girl a joke. He was like, so a Nazi and a, a what he said? He said a Satanist. A Satanist and a what? Nazi walks into a club. I was like, what is going on, people? Oh, my God. This is like one of those places where black people go to, like, it's like in the middle of nowhere. And then, like, the people are mutants and stuff like that. We should not be here. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting out of here right now. Because <laughs> what the hell? We made it to Arizona. And you know you're here when you see palm trees and cactuses. First stop is Unique Burger. This place is 100% plant-based. And we went here last time. And uh, this time, Shelly don't have her machine that she had to use, so she can enjoy it this time. So <laughs> we're gonna see. Um, I'm gonna get the same thing I got before, and this thing was gas last time, so Shelly get to enjoy it better this time. Burgers. I got the double. Shelly got the single with some cut fries. Everything's vegan. Everything. I'm about to destroy this thing right now. Damn. Food is gone. I got a long story for you guys, but we made it to the hotel. It's like a resort. We're about to go in our room for the first time. We made it inside. So the first thing I gotta check out is the bathroom. So let's take a look at that thing. We got this nice little barn door. Fire. Okay. And then there's a light. It's actually really spacious in here. Toilet is decent. You know what I'm I like this big circle mirror. Walk and shower. Actually, this one is probably one of the biggest ones we've had so far. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay, excuse me. Wow. Okay, look how the um the drain. That's cool. That's different. I like the, the sliding sliding shower thing. That's fire. You got a little wardrobe. You guys know we gotta do a room check. So we got coffee and everything. And then we get the bed. Nice. This is a king size. Little sofa. TV. This thing's pretty 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 um homey, I would say. Little design over there. Little fake rock looking thing over here. And we got a balcony too. Oh, we got people playing tennis over there. Oh now this is beautiful. Oh, they even got a pool over here. Look at the mountains. Six hour drive. Not like five and some change, but pretty much like a six hour drive. And it's our second time coming out here. Oh, look, look at the... Uh, the roof is like a cement type of design. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's a place that we went to, we were here last time. But like I said, Shelly had that machine thing. I don't know if I explained in the last video, but it was very difficult for her to eat. So this time we're out here, she can enjoy her food and not be in pain because she had that machine thing so time to get some food we already um settled in got our stuff down and we're trying to figure out the exit situation so this is exit but we don't know if it'll i think we should be able to go through here right if the alarm if the alarm sounds <laughs> it 
There we go. Hey, <laughs> oh my god, I was so scared. I'm assuming this goes to outside. Yeah, look, yeah. And I think we parked. I just don't think you can't go back in that way. You can exit this way. I don't think you can go back in. Look, they got mad tennis courts over here. There ain't even people over here. That's fire. No, I know we're in the right area. Look, look, the RDS right there. <laughs> so instead of us had to walk all the way up that hill, then you go to the front and walk all the way this oh, way, we go through that exit. All right, so we're gonna jump in and let's get something to eat. <laughs> So we made it to, I don't know, I call this downtown area, but it's kind of nice. It's like a lot of different shops and stuff like that. A lot of food places, a lot of restaurants. The place we're going is right in there. I'm gonna get copyrighted, but yeah, they got the outdoors. They got the, oh, they had the doors open. Last time they had the doors open. What's cool is you can see them cooking your food back there. That's fire. Can't take my eye off you. Can't take my eye off you. Don't got nothing. All right, so we got vegan tacos, and they're three different samples. And I'm gonna destroy it. And I got some. Um, what is this? The strawberry something? Uh, the fresca. Fresca. I was gonna say refresher. <laughs> All right, so look at Charlie's plate and look at mine. So I killed that. Juice gone, everything gone. This area is so nice. It always reminds me of like some type of shopping center thing to do you. I miss most of the, the cool cars, but look, Porsche next to Porsche. That's cool. Hey, there I go. <laughs> um, after we ate, I forgot to record with the Target. Of course it was a Target. With Shelly, you went to Target. You got some um, snacks for the road trip. So we only here for one night. We're here for one night. Tomorrow morning, we're going to Mayo Clinic, and then um, Shelly is going to go get her testing done and all that good stuff as well. We're hoping for the best, of course, while we're here. We did some research. So the Mayo Clinic is one of the best. Is it a hospital? The Mayo Clinic supposedly is the best hospital in the nation, which is, we know there were. Like we know it's a good a good place, like a good institute, but I know it's that big. Like we did some research on it. Um, because like I said, it's really hard to get into this Mayo Clinic. And usually a lot of people are gonna wait in this for years and we bypass that because of what was going on with Shelly. So I was willing to drive all the way out here. That way we can make sure Shelly get the care that she needs because she's the princess. She's a queen that makes sure she's taken care of. So we're just hoping for the best on all of that. Before I go to today's vlog, I do want to talk about the RDX. So a few things, um, compared to the Civic, it's a day and night difference, day and night difference. So the RDX is wider, it's longer, you sit up higher. We have more, we have more shoulder room, more leg room, more hip room, way more headroom, everything in the RDX. Also, it's so smooth. There's a few times where I'm doing, a, I, I call myself doing like 80 and not even notice because it's just so smooth. Like it's, it's, it's weird. Like you barely put your foot down and because of that two liter, the turbo two liter and just the torque that it has, you have instant power there. So no matter if I'm like, I got to pass someone with the Civic, the Civic didn't struggle, you know, but I still had to put my foot down a little bit to kind of get around someone. The turbo got to spool up, got to down shit. And then the Civic had a CVT, so I got to like, you know, get the, the transmission speed, the engine speed to get where it's going. But with the RDX, it downshifts and it goes. Like things are rocket if I got to pass one. It's crazy. It's just way smoother, um, way more comfortable. Only thing is, is the RDX don't get as good gas mileage as the Civic. The Civic was very fuel efficient. The RDX is actually fuel efficient for its size. It's comfortable. Like comparing from when we drove here in the Civic, obviously the weather is a lot better here than we were in um, the Civic. Civic was the craziest weather in the world, of course. But if we were in the same weather, we would have been fine. Especially with the super handling all-wheel drive. Like, you can corner at certain speeds that Civic could not do. Out of all the cars we've got, this is just one of the best purchases, like, ever. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's like, like the RDX is just a game changer. Like, that powertrain, the 10-speed, 
with the uh, two liter turbos is good combination. I see why Honda use it everything. Type R, 2.0 Accord when we had it, TLX, RDX, like it's just a good combination. I still have some walk arounds um, coming out as well too. So it's gonna be a mixture of vlogs and walk arounds and kind of what we're gonna do on this channel. The Scottsdale area in Arizona is just a very nice place. The first time we were here, we were around like a lot of exotic cars and cool cars and I love that we're here again, but this time instead of us being our Civic, we're in the RDX. And the RDX is definitely a head turner, right? We've been driving, like I said, we don't have tents and stuff here in the front, so everywhere we go, people are just looking at us, breaking their necks. You know, when we get out of it, people are looking like, whoa, you know, you guys getting out of the RDX. But um, it's definitely a head turner. But love the looks, love everything about it. We are almost at 8,000 subscribers, so I appreciate everyone that's been subscribing, dropping comments, you know, giving feedback, stuff like that. And appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.